Hi, this is Maggie. Today I'll be talking about Saturn. Uh, the God of Time. The uh, well, much like Father Time, its, it's glyph is the sickle. You know, it's named after Kronos, the Lord of the God of Time. It's either Greek or Roman mythology. Um, so there's limitations, restrictions. You know, you, you want to get to work, hard work, discipline, um, responsibility. You know, it's it's a hard taskmaster, and especially if you're immature. And you know, um, yeah, it takes Saturn 28 to 30 years to complete its cycle around the zodiac, and it spends two and a half to three years <laughs> in each sign. So. You know, if you live long enough, you might have three Saturn returns, you know, every 28 years. But the, the major one for me was the first one, the, the 28 to 30, the process of growing up into adulthood. And Saturn, you know, can teach you some very hard lessons. And if you don't learn them, it will nudge you harder and harder and harder. So, um, yeah. So Saturn had to nudge me a little bit to, to grow up, you know. Um, and I was afraid of my Saturn return. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, it's a masculine energy <clears throat> and it rules uh, Capricorn and Aquarius both. Um, so I get rid of that. And uh, yeah, so anyway, Saturn, um, I always think of more Saturn as a ruler of Capricorn, um, but it is ruler of Aquarius as well. And so there, there are like almost two types of Aquarians. Some are more Uranian, you know, because Uranus rules it as well. And some are Saturnian, a little more pessimistic. But anyway, I, I'm going to go around the wheel. I'll start with Aries. If you have Saturn and Aries are the first house, you would be um, a little more serious. You know, it's your personality. It rules your body, your personality. So um, you would be a little more serious and disciplined than, than the average Aries. You, would, you know, you would be more prone to get to work could perhaps be a little pessimistic or because it's if it's sitting on your sun or on your ascendant um, Saturn is serious and it's very disciplined and it works very very hard so you may be a very hard worker or you could maybe be prone to a little bit of um, not full-on depression but a little blues. I remember when Saturn was sitting on my side and my ascendant during my Saturn return when I was like 28 and I, it just felt so heavy. It felt really heavy on my shoulders. I just felt tired and um, because I, I knew what it was, you know. Um, yeah, so that's Saturn first house. Saturn second house would <clears throat> so Saturn first house would affect your personality you know, how, how you present, and your body. Um, there may be some physical restrictions, you know, with your body or limitations, uh, maybe setbacks. And as an Aries, you know, you could overcome that. Um, Saturn in the second house or in Taurus can give you great discipline in <laughs> making money. It's the Second house, the house of Taurus, is all about money, assets, what you value, material gain. So with Saturn there, I mean, you're just an extremely hard worker, and that is your probably your major goal in life is to, to gain the material things in life. And you probably beat yourself up um, if you're not working really hard, you know. It would give you just discipline to acquire acquire wealth, material things. And, um, so that, that would be your primary focus. Saturn also uh, is structure, you know, how you structure your life. So you may 
structure your your assets, restructure them, uh, yeah, to create wealth or whatever, whatever you're doing. Uh, also, you know, Venus rules Taurus and Mars ruled Aries. So that's why I said as an Aries, you could try to overcome, you know, <clears throat> maybe if you're feeling a little, you know, Saturn on your shoulders, a little depression, um, the Aries could help because it's fire energy that's ruled by bars maybe to, to try to shake it off a little bit or counteract it. So with Taurus, the ruler is Venus. So uh, you could make a lot of money through anything but Venusian, you know? Um, yeah, like maybe the arts or, uh, or you would just love beauty. So you would surround yourself with beautiful, elaborate, very expensive furniture and nothing but the best, the finest. Well, actually, no, Saturn in your second house would put a restriction. It would probably, it could set you back financially, uh, but you may have the ability to make money. It could set you back and then you could make it back again. Or it could, uh, you know, cause you to lose money. So I would gamble definitely if you have Saturn and Taurus, don't, don't, I would, uh, or it could make you very, very frugal, extremely frugal. So with Saturn there, you would not be a spendthrift. You would be a very conservative. Um, if you had a portfolio, you, you would be <coughs> very conservative or you would do your research, you know, disciplined research to make sure you don't lose any, any of your assets. Saturn in the third house would be uh, disciplined communication. You could be a master at communication. You could reach the top of your field. You could be a ling linguist. Um, yeah, it's just, it could cause, uh, you know, maybe some you know, some, uh, <clears throat> because the third house and Mercury is the ruler of Gemini, so it could cause some thought processes, maybe some AD, ADD or ADHD or um, dyslexia perhaps, or um, just maybe slower disciplined speech. However, you could be, the, you know, you could be a great teacher, you know, <coughs> because it would give you the discipline to communicate because it's like father time, chronos, right? So, um, yeah, so the positive side of uh, Saturn in Gemini or the third house is it gives you, I would say, controlled discipline in your speech or your speech might be a little more uh, serious, a little more serious. And, you know, if, if you use, well, of course, you're a Gemini or, you know, <laughs> if you have it in the third house, it would color you Gemini. So it could make you very disciplined and um, a master in your speech. Like, say, you're a rapper, you know, that would be good for you to grow and to learn or you're a teacher, you know, whatever. <laughs> so Saturn in the fourth house would cause some separation, some delay, perhaps, you know, your father left home at an early age. So that would be the fourth house or cancer. So Saturn there would, would cause some discipline or setbacks or um, could just make, maybe make life a little harder emotionally um, it would make, tend to make you very very serious um, or you may have been emotionally you may have had some emotional setbacks through um, you know I, I think it's Saturn too as a father so if, if I look at a chart I'm looking for the father I'll look for Saturn and the moon for the mother um, so it may be that your father you know, left home or they got divorced or, you know, he may have died, but some kind of a separation, um, they have affected you and 
Um, and your moods, you know, or you, you could, you know, there's positive ways to, to use it. I mean, you could be a master chef on um, one of these cooking shows like the Ugly Chew or, you know, um, a master chef or, um, yeah, so, and, and your mother too, you know, <clears throat> your mom may have been very, um, she may not have been that affectionate. She may have been very serious or maybe a little cold, maybe a little um, hard on you. Um, and so, you know, all of that would affect you, especially because cancer is a very emotional, instinctive nature. And, um, you know, it's a very karmic house and, and that's, you know, that would affect you. So the way to use your Saturn in, in this house would be to just, um, you know, just discipline yourself like in any other sign, you know, you just discipline yourself, you work really hard, you, you learn the lessons and you just move on with life, you know, time heals all, all wounds, you know. So the fifth house is Leo. Saturn and Leo would dampen just the fiery enthusiasm. And just like it would in Aries, it kind of puts the fire out a little bit, but never. I mean, you can't ever really put the fire out, I don't think, in a fire sign. Uh, so Leo would definitely still be Leo, but they might just be... It would give them the discipline to master their their art or their whatever whatever they're doing. You know, if they're a showman or if they're you know on stage or if they're just you know like the Lord of the House, um, it would make them disciplined or maybe a disciplinarian. You know. Um, yeah, if you had a Saturian father, he would lay down the law, you know? And if you were Leo, uh, yeah, it could be a little fiery. Um, but I'm just thinking, like, for your, for, because Leo rules children, um, you know, the arts, creativity, self expression. So, um, and love. So yeah, it would it would just give you a serious bet. You would be extremely hardworking, disciplined, and you would strive to get ahead because it is ruler of Capricorn and Aquarius. So Saturn in the sixth house loves they love to work anyway. So that's just it's the ruler of an earth house, you know, Capricorn in um, another earth house, Virgo, or the the sixth house would color it Virgo. So Saturn there would um, just be either a very disciplined person working in the, working hard to strive to get ahead in the health, health fields, health, healing, or just, you know, organizing. You might have your own organization. Um, or, um, yeah, you could just be very fastidious, you know, extremely serious, very, very serious. And, you know, you would want to keep an eye on your health because Saturn can sometimes cause restrictions and, you know, setbacks in, in your health. Um, but with work, you would be a super workaholic because, I mean, Hate to put labels, but I do sometimes, you know. But it would it would just make you extremely disciplined because it's like Earth on Earth, you know, the, the ruler of Saturn, the ruler of Capricorn, in a fellow Earth sign. So you're in trying, and so you both love to work. So that would just really help you to get ahead of everybody else. You would be way on top of the game with that combination. Uh, Saturn in the seventh house. You know, it's a uh, <laughs> it's generational. Uh, so Saturn in the seventh house or Libra is all about relationships. Uh, yeah, partnerships, relationships. And so there could be some separation 
some setbacks or your lesson in life is to learn to learn about relationships um, yeah like in the when I say it's generational like in the 70s or 60s 70s I think um, relationships when Saturn was in Libra relationships were redefined you know it's like uh, marriage was redefined, divorce was unheard of, and Ozzy and Harriet died, and it just, you know, it just brought in a whole new um, way of relationships. So uh, <coughs> Saturn in, in Libra could uh, just give you discipline in seeking out beauty, maybe working in partnership, you know, with other artists or something, you know, in the Venusian fields, or it could, it could, it could, it could be an older man or older woman, uh, you know, like an age difference, you may marry late, or not at all, or uh, it may just cause uh, some kind of restriction or separation, you may, uh, they may find creative ways to just Leave, you know, like they might die or they might, I don't know, just like, and if you have an opposition to Saturn, uh, yeah, uh, you know, it just activates it even more. But yeah, frequently, you know, the cliche is you would marry late <coughs> or you would marry an older man or woman. Uh, or you could just marry somebody very serious or somebody who Capricorns frequently have it together. They either have it together or they go to excess, you know, they go to excess and everything and they never really get anywhere, you know, um, except maybe in trouble because they do go to, go to excess. Um, so, yeah, you may attract somebody who's very disciplined in their career or somebody who, who makes a ton of money you, because you want security, you know? Um, yeah. So anyway, your lesson in life is to learn about relationships through just having different relationships. And that, that's your lesson. Uh, and that can be a hard lesson. So... Uh, so the eighth house, Saturn in the eighth house, your lesson is about joint finances. Um, yeah, joint finances. And it would restrict some of your, some of your <coughs> joint finances or some of your passion, you know, or it could just cause some delays, you know, separation or delays. Uh, Scorpio wants it and they want it now. They're ruled by Mars and Pluto. So, you know, to have any setbacks, it could, you know, there could be a setback or something, or you may have to wait, you know, Saturn's the Lord of Discipline. You may have to wait years for what you want. And, uh, yeah, so, or say you you're getting an inheritance or something and there's some kind of, interference or setback or delay or uh, maybe loss or you know I don't know it's just different it could make you very very serious though I mean uh, very serious so you could be very serious about your whatever you do it depends what house you have it in you know if it's in the eighth house it's Scorpio's house it's a, you know, um, but it is the ruler of Earth, and it's very, very, very serious. So, uh, yeah, it would be, it would be colored Scorpio, Capricorn. You know, so it could be helpful if you want. You know, Scorpios are power driven. I mean, they are very powerful, and they, they work very hard as well. So to have Saturn there, uh, they would probably own their own company or you know, have joint, a joint partnership with someone and, um, you know, 
be disciplined enough to run the company. So it could, it could be a benefit in that respect. So Saturday the ninth house would be uh, would be Sagittarius, Sag Sagittarius or the ninth house. So um, you could you could teach, you know, or you could learn through teaching or traveling. That's the, the way you would learn your lessons in life, or the lesson Saturn would probably want to teach you in the ninth house would be. Um, your values, your value system, um, you know, traveling, law, teaching, um, yeah, so, but there may be separation, delay, uh, or you could just be like um, a world traveler, you know, I mean, you're so disciplined in your, the, the way you pack, or you could be multilingual, you know, multilingual. You could be uh, an interpreter, you know, you could, yeah, you could use Saturn. You know, Saturn is a positive, it could be a positive planet. I don't always paint it that way, but it, it is. I mean, there are positive uses of Saturn and, you know, Saturn and Sagittarius can, you know, make you a great linguist. Um, or world traveler, or you could publish, you could write books on, you know, traveling the world atlas, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, so, or it could cause some delays or setbacks sometimes, maybe when you travel, uh, but you could deal with that because, you know, you're probably used to, used to it, uh, but I would think it would just make you more mature and make you work harder, you know, as a teacher or lawyer or whatever you choose to do, traveler. Uh, Saturn in the 11th house, or 10th house rather, is the ruler of the mid heaven, it's the ruler of Capricorn. So having your ruler there, that would definitely be, um, you would get ahead, you would just get ahead, it, it's, uh, you would be obsessed with work. I mean, you would you would just work so hard. You would probably wear yourself down a little bit. Uh, in your mid heaven, you might be in the public eye, public sector. Um, but you you would have it together at a very probably a very young age, and make it all the way to the top because you're you're you know it's your ruler. So you have the stamina, the perseverance. The, You've got Kronos, you know, Father Time on your side. Um, but it is a karmic planet. So if you misuse it in any way, it will, it will teach you a lesson. Like if you abuse your power in, in a position of authority, um, you know, you might need to learn a lesson about that. Or if there's corruption in your business, <laughs> or I don't know, it's just different ways. But you would probably be like a, a workaholic. So uh, the lesson may be to put a little time aside for a personal life or fun or something. Um, yeah, so kind of everything going on in Saturn right now, but this isn't about transits, but it's been really, really affecting you, Capricorn, you know, really affecting you. With all the outer planets there, you know, and now Mars is there as well. It's got Mars, Saturn, and Pluto. So your whole life has just been topsy turvy, you know, just turned upside down. And <clears throat> now you're building it back up, or, uh, yeah, let's talk about Saturn a lot when it comes to Capricorn because it's just really been, really been hitting you hard, you know. You may have lost your father. Uh, you know, a lot of hardship and loss. Um, and it's hard to go through too much of it all at once, so it's good to have someone to talk to. Uh, yeah, so, uh, 10th, 11th, 11th, and it's the mid heaven as well, your career. So you would be at the top of your career. The top, top of your career, but still, you know, you've had to endure hardships uh, with Pluto sitting on your sun, uh, 
you know, when, when Pluto was in Sagittarius, uh, my dad was a Sagittarius, and uh, when P Pluto was transiting his son, I knew, I knew he was going to die, but I didn't, I couldn't even look at it. I mean, it's like I knew the transits, I knew, but I, I just stopped looking at transits because I, I knew what it was. So, but I'm just saying, our, you know, it's it could be endings. It could be the end of your career and you have no idea maybe what to do, but Saturn is the planet of structure. It's restructuring. So whatever you lost may have been a job, your career, um, your ruler will give you, the, and Mars is there now too, so it will give you the fortitude, perseverance, and patience to rebuild, you know, just a, a brand new you. So, uh, yeah, so that's the 10th house, the Midheaven, Capricorn, and the 11th house is um, Aquarius. If you have Saturn in the 11th house or Aquarius, you would be a little more serious Aquarian than the more Uranian type. You would make a very good astrologer. You would be very disciplined. You would um, be very good at communication or it could <coughs> cause some setbacks, some delays somehow in, in communication or in your serious outlook on life, because Saturn, I mean, uh, you know, friendships, friendships are very Aquarian, and Aquarians are humanitarian, and very, extremely open-minded, so you might not be quite as open-minded as the more Uranian Aquarian, however, you could use your Saturn ruler and influence to uh, to change the world, you know, to put together environmental groups to, you know, uh, help the environment or, you know, just, uh, there's just so many causes that, that your, your satirian discipline in Aquarius, you know, you could just broadcast it to the world and everybody would, uh, you know, you could really be a humanitarian on a very large scale because you're so disciplined and some of your friends may be serious or you could be with a group of friends that are extremely serious about, you know, their group, what they do, whatever it is, whatever it is, whatever it is. So, uh, and a very loyal, you would, you would be <coughs> a very loyal friend because as a rule, Saturn is loyal. Or some friendships could end. Um, so Saturn in the 11th, in, in the 12th house or in Pisces would be, uh, it's like earth in water. Uh, the other one was like an earth, I, I think a Saturn is like an earth sign. So it was just an air in Aquarius. You know, it's its ruler, but uh, so Saturn in, in Pisces would be, gosh, it would be, um, you know, some kind of karmic lessons. It, it could be just learning, learning how to be yourself, your mutable self, you know, um, expressing yourself through the arts or through just being you, uh, there could be some discipline or hardships or things to overcome. <laughs> you know, you maybe um, have to overcome some, some loss that you suffered um, and you're still processing or maybe overcome some addiction. Uh, but Saturn would give you the, the endurance and the, the fortitude to, to overcome, I mean, I was going to say, look at Eric Clapton. He started Crossroads Rehab, however, he was an Aries. But it, it really doesn't matter. I mean, um, and not to say that all 12th house people and all, all um, Pisceans are addicts or alcoholics or anything. But if, if that is prominent in your chart, generally you would tend to look for, for Neptune. 
and you know if it's how it's aspected but for you Pisces it could give you a more a little more serious outlook and you know you might just beat yourself up too much you know guilt and just try to let go you know maybe seek out some therapy to let go of a lot of the guilt because a lot of the guilt you maybe you're carrying on your shoulders or shame doesn't even belong to you or it could make you a master in um, your trade whatever it is that you do you know I mean if, you, if you're an artist it could take you to the top of the world because Saturn would give you the discipline it's the ruler of the mid heaven and it would take you all the way up there so uh, yeah, I mean, you know, there's <clears throat> there's always higher and lower octaves of each planet, and how we use them is up to us. And yeah, uh, we all have to learn our lessons through Saturn. And, you know, it's not easy. It's it's hard. I mean, if everything's going great in your life, uh, that's it's not to say that you're going to have an excellent Saturn return. I guess there are some people who enjoy their Saturn returns, but I wasn't one of them <laughs> because I have no Earth in my chart, so it, it just was really hard for me, and I felt I felt afraid. And Saturn can also be fear, you know. So I was I was afraid of it, and that's because I knew I knew I had to get it together. So and I tried to, you know. So um, yeah, so. Pisces or 12th house, you know, we just, you just really don't know how it's going to manifest, but um, let go of guilt, let go of fear, um, setbacks, limitations, and just realize that you are strong enough to use the perseverance and discipline of Saturn to forge ahead in your career, because it is the ruler of the mid heaven, and it's the ruler of Cap of uh, both Capricorn and Aquarius, so use that, just use that, and just let go of, you know, I'm just thinking that you could be too hard on yourself, you could be too hard on yourself, beating yourself up, and that a lot of stuff, maybe you had an absent father, you may have had an absent father, or a father who traumatized you, or in some way, and you know, these issues keep coming up for you. So, um, you know, the, those, those may be things that you need to work through. So, but um, anyway, I just hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please like and subscribe. Thank you.